Hi everyone. In this video, I will show you how to use GPIO pins of STM32 F4 Discovery Board. To program STM32 F4 Discovery Board, we will use Keel Microvision IDE. And on top of that, we will use HAL libraries from STM Electronics. So I have written a complete article on how to use STM32 F4 GPIO pins with an example of LED blinking. So this is a complete in-depth article to use onboard LEDs. In this tutorial, we are using onboard LEDs of STM32 F4 Discovery Board. As you can see in this diagram, this development board comes with four user LEDs, LED3, LED4, LED5 and LED6. And these LEDs are connected with port D of STM32 F4 Discovery Board. For example, LED3 is connected with PD13 pin and LED4 with PD12 pin, LED5 with PD14 pin, LED6 with PD15 pin. So we will see how to toggle these four LEDs. These LEDs are of green, yellow, red and blue color. Here you can see in this table, LED4 is of green color, LED3 is orange color LED and so on LED5 and LED6. So here you can see in this schematic, LED4 is connected with PD12 pin through a current limiting resistor. So now let's see how to program these GPIO pins of STM32 F4 discovery board to toggle these LEDs. As mentioned earlier, we will be using Keel Microvision and Hall libraries. First of all, you should have installed Microvision, Keel Microvision IDE on your system. If you did not install this software on your system, you can watch my previous video. I have posted the link of previous video in the description of this video. So after installing Keel Microvision, we have to create a new project. But if you are using Keel Microvision first time to program STM32 F4 Discovery Board, you need to install software packages for this board. To install software packages, click on this pack installer. After that, there in this window, all the devices supported by, ST, by Keel Microvision will appear. Now, here you can see all the devices which are supported by Keel Microvision are available in this devices list. But for this tutorial, we are using microcontrollers from STM Electronics. So scroll down and select STM Electronics. Here you can see STM Electronics option. So from STM Electronics, select STM 32F4 series because we are using STM 32F4 discovery board and it comes with STM 32F4 series microcontroller. So when you double click on this board and go to uh, packs, you will find in, under the device specific, you will find these two options, Keel STM32 4XX and STM32 Nucleo. If you are using Nucleo development board, you need to install this package. But if you are using STM32 F4 discovery board only, you can install this package. So I have already installed this package, but if you were using first time, you will see the option of install here. Simply click on the install and it will install your packages. And in the output window, you will see the update after you after you complete installation of software packages for STM32 effort discovery board. After that, close this window. Now let's see how to create our first project using Keel Microvision for STM discovery board. To create a new project, go to project and click on new project. And now select an option, select a location where you want to save your project. For example, I want to save my project here. So I will create a new project. And for example, I will give it a name tutorial LED blinking. After that, select that folder and give this project a name. For example, this is LED blinking. So I'll give it a name of LED blinking. After that, save this project and this window will appear. In this window, select 
type the name of the microcontroller which comes with stm32 for discovery board the microcontroller which comes with stm32 for discovery board is stm32 f4 0 7 vg okay so select from here and the microcontroller which comes with the stm32 discovery board is stm32 f407 vg so select this microcontroller and click on okay after that we need to make runtime environment settings to to make these settings first go to cmsis and select core under device select the starter file and from stm32 cube framework select classic and as you can see when we select classic there are showing this window will show some validation outputs and it will require some additional software components and uh, to use stm32 discovery board for its software packages to so if you click on resolve button it will automatically include all software dependencies for stm32 discovery board so from stm32 cube hall select at least you make sure to select gpio because we are using uh, LED, led blinking tutorial in this video and uh, we are using gpio pins so these these are the hall libraries for other peripherals also for example if you are using adc in your in your project you can select adc but for time being we are using only gpio pins therefore we selected gpio after that click on ok now if you go to your project you will see the project have, has been created now uh, go to source group one and add a new item to your project the new item will be of a main file where we will write our main program for led blinking so give it a proper name so to follow a convention i will give it a name of main and this will be the type of this will be a c type file so select file c and give it a name main after that click on add if you expand this source group one you will see that here we have created an empty file with the name of main.c if you expand this device file you will find the libraries for stem 32f discovery board from hall drivers now go back to our uh, our main tutorial link here i have already defined everything how to create a project if you if you want to read you can read here and under this project i provided this led blinking program this led blinking program toggles onboard leds of stm32 of discovery board with the rate of one second and uh, here you can see we use hall led toggle uh, function to toggle pin 12 13 14 and 15 uh, of port d and uh, now copy this function copy this program and go to your main file and paste it here now let's first see how this this code works first of all to use gpio pins library of hall we need to configure the led pins here inside this initialize onboard led function first we enable the clock to port d this function of hall library is used to enable clock to gpio d because we are using onboard leds and the onboard LED leds are connected with gpio d so therefore we need to enable the clock for gpio d because in arm cortex m4 based microcontrollers or arm cortex m microcontrollers by default clock is disabled to uh, all the peripherals to save power or energy because we can enable the clock to every peripheral that we want to use in our project so for for instance in this tutorial we are using only gpio d that's that's why we enable the clock to gpio d after that we have created a structure of type gpio init type this structure basically is used to initialize gpio pins of stm32 f4 family of microcontrollers so let's go to the definition of this structure uh, go to definition here here you can see this is the structure of gpio in a type definition this structure contain members of pin mode pull speed and alternate 
and this these members are used to initialize your GPI openings. For example, this this member is used to uh, configure your GPIO pins. For example, if you uh, we are using GPIO uh, pin 12 to pin 15 of uh, port D, so we will define those pins with the help of this member. And mode member of uh, is used to select the mode of GPIO pin. For example, we can configure every pin of each port as a digital input or output pin. And similarly, rest of the pin have other functions like if you want if you want to pull up or pull down pull down a register with these uh, GPIO pins. But we will see the working of pull down, speed, and alternate in coming tutorials. So coming back to the main function, here we have declared a one structure, uh, one variable of structure type GPIO and init type. Here we we use this structure variable to set the mode of the gpio pins as digital output pins if you go to back to uh, this structure here in 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 this file you can see if you want to set the mode as a G, uh, gpio pin mode as a output you you will set uh, the mode to this value similarly for input you can set it gpio mode input and similarly for the other other options and with the help of pin member we have selected pin 12 13 14 and 15 okay so this library is basically used to uh, this library defines all the functions used to initialize and configure gpio pins and here this function hall gpio initialize is used to initialize the gpio pins of every port and this, the first argument to this function is the port name and the second arg argument is is the structure type variable that we have seen earlier here uh, this structure so we have used this function to configure gpio port d here you can see we have used this hall gpio initialize function and the first argument to this function is gpio d and the second argument is the pointer to this this structure because we have configured GPIO D and these and their pins as a digital output pin using this structure. So inside this function we have initialized GPIO GPIO D or port D pins 12 to 15 as a digital output pins. This function is used to generate a one milli, uh, one millisecond delay and uh, now inside the main function first we call this function to initialize the port d and inside the while loop this while loop will keep executing again and again now this gpio led toggle function is used to toggle the state of gpio pin for example if the state of led is high next time it will make the state of LED pin to low and vice versa to so you can find the definition of this led function here gpio toggle pin so gpio toggle G, hall gpio toggle function is toggles the specified gpio pin for example the first argument is the name of the gpio port and second argument is the gpio pin so here we first argument is our gpio port that is port d and the second argument are uh, second argument is gpio pins that we want to toggle so if you want to pass more than one pins at a time to this function you can simply or you can combine them using or operator so here we are using gpi pin 12 13 15 and and 14 15 you must be wondering how microcontroller knows about these these gpi pin numbers because these these are basically defined inside this like inside this uh, header file of gpi pins here you can see gpi pin and is in their definitions so so this code will blink onboard leds uh, with the rate of one second now uh, simply compile this code by clicking on this compile button after that build the project to create an hex file now first go to options and select uh, the st link debugger because stm32f4 discovery board comes with the uh, ST link debugger 
and now click on settings go to trace and set the settings to 16 megahertz because the because 16 megahertz is the default frequency also enable the trace after that click on ok and ok now upload this code to stm32 by by clicking on load button or pressing f8 on your keyboard so click on load button and as you can see programming done and verify ok now if you click on the reset button of your stm32 discovery board you will see the leds are blinking with the rate of one second so this is how we can use gpio pins of stm32 discovery board to blink an led for example there is one more way to blink an led for example if we i have also provided the example for example instead of using a gpio toggle function we can use gpio write function so what gpio write function do it will basically set the specific pin to active high or active low state so if we copy this code this code blinks and leds uh, using a digital uh, hall gpio write write pin function so now if we replace this code rest of the code is same except we are using here hall gpio write pin so again go to functions and under gpio library if you click on gpio write here you can see this function this function takes three arguments as an input and this function is used to make a specific pin of a gpio port uh, as a active high or active low so first argument to this function is uh, gpio number and the second argument is a gpio pin of uh, pin of that gpio port and the second is a state 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 can be either active high or active low for example if you want to make the pin active high so you will pass this argument gpio pin set to this function if you want to make it active low you will pass gpio pin reset to this function so i want i i recommend you to explore these libraries because it will make it will it will give you more information and sense how these libraries actually works so the here inside the while function we want to use GPI port D, so we have specified GPI D, and we want to set all these pins active high. So, so we mention the pin numbers, and after that, GPI pin set, and it will make the these these four pins active high. After that, we have added a delay of one second, and again after that, we are using the same function, but this time we are making these pins active low, and followed by a one millisecond delay. So this will give us the same functionality of GPI toggle pin uh, function, but using a hall GPI or write pin. So simply again compile this code, and after compiling, upload this code to your stem draft discovery board. Uh, here you can see code is uploaded successfully. Now click on the reset button. Yes, you can see LEDs are blinking with the rate of one second. So this is how we can use. GPI opens of STM32 F4 Discovery Board. In the coming videos, we will see more features of STM32 F4 Discovery Board using Keel Microvision and Hall libraries. Thanks for watching this video.